YouTube, what's going on, man? It's your boy, the Dominican Savage, here back with another video. And in today's video, we are playing some Black Ops Cold War Hardcore Nuketown Kill Confirm match, as you can see, coming up. And for the most part, guys, in the beginning of this match, I'm going for camo challenges. So you'll see me from one garage to other garages beaming people. Those are long shots. And when you take out somebody, guys, if you didn't know, if you take out somebody who's in the head glitch in the window up top, either, either sides, is considered a kill towards the enemy taking cover from you challenge so that's something to also look at if you're grinding for camels to make it easier for yourself and if they're behind the train cart whatever right here in the center that also counts towards the enemy taking cover so be sure to do those to speed up the process it's definitely working for me and for the most part we're, we're not almost there but for the most part we got some guns done but today's video guys, I want to focus on the point of just Black Ops Cold War and why I haven't been uploading it too much on the channel and I have been uploading Warzone a lot more. You know, I took a break from Modern Warfare because I didn't enjoy the multiplayer. I just didn't. You know, I took a whole year off and I probably shot myself in the foot, honestly. Because if I would have been uploading Warzone content, I probably would have you know channel probably would have been growing a lot faster at a faster rate but for the most part that's on me that's my fault 100 percent so i started uploading warzone gameplay man and for the most part the channel is doing pretty good you know since i started making videos again um you know from views to you know just people you know live streaming again you know finding that funk again to want to make content for youtube you know you want to do it with something you enjoy you know and i enjoy playing warzone i enjoy the the whole gimmick of Warzone, of trying to survive and, you know, kill feeds, kill chains, whatever, you know, crazy plays, clutch plays that you can do. Where Black Ops Cold War is your standard Call of Duty, you know, dropping, you know, high kills and it's just, but it's repetitive in my opinion. It's the same thing, you know, playing the same maps over and over, you know, that's why I'm going for the camo challenges. It's giving me an, an intent to play the game. If I wasn't going for the camo challenges, I wouldn't at all be going for it. Like, I wouldn't be playing Black Ops Cold War, honestly. Because it's just not, it's not that it's not fun. It's just that, it, to me, it's just boring. You know, Black Ops Cold War has gotten stale, you know. But that's most CODs, for the most part, you know what I mean? That's most CODs, for the most part. And there's nothing much we can do. You know, like, it's just age i guess i don't know like i'm just not feeling call of duty the way i once did and they've changed they've forced the hand you know just with the way they base things on like with skill based matchmaking or performance based matchmaking i truly believe that performance based matchmaking is something to that doesn't get enough you know like you know quote unquote i feel like the better you do Obviously, the, your lobbies do get harder, but do they really get harder, or does your connection get worse, or does your bullet registration get worse? That makes it seem like the other the opponents are a lot stronger, better than they really are. You know, so I feel like it goes hand in hand. Where I get why people say skill-based matchmaking. That's just the main term everybody uses. But for a lot of times, I feel like performance matchmaking that does exist. You know, and I've experienced where I'm like, bro, one game I'm melting people. Next game is getting so many hit markers, and people are not dying nearly as fast as they were the previous game, etc., etc. You know, the, the list goes on. We could go down the rabbit hole all day, but that's on Activision. So you know, so it makes it not fun to play. You know, um, you know, Cold War is your standard again, Call of Duty, and I'm not going to say like that. Warzone is perfect either. Warzone, of course, you have the hackers out there, no anti cheat system, and Activision is just laying on their ass, not doing nothing. Or sitting on their ass, I should say, and not doing much because it's so easy to get banned for hacking and then just come back the next day with a new account. You know, I feel like they wasted too much time or they haven't looked into it thoroughly or deeply enough. As you can see, yesterday we had a tournament out there on Twitch for 250k, and there were some professional streamers out there. I'll take that with a grain of salt. I'm not sure if he's a professional streamer or not, but. He was, you know, hacking in the sense where he had like uh, super aim assist or or aimbot lock on, whatever, wall hacks, something of that nature. But it happens a lot, you know, and for the most part, I saw a video one time where a hacker said the reason he started hacking was, well, correct, when he first started playing Warzone, he wasn't a hacker. But he was running into so many hackers that eventually he said, you know what? 
I'm a hack too because I'm not having fun in this game. You know, this game is not fun at all, and the hackers are ruining for me, so I can't beat them, join them, basically. So, you know, Activision has a big burden as to why these games aren't as fun as they should or once were. You know, and that's my whole thing with Black Ops Cold War. Of course, again, the performance-based matchmaking and the skill-based matchmaking, it just doesn't, it's just... And the lack of content. When I say lack of content, I'm talking about maps. Like, dude, I haven't played a regular Cold War map in so long. Like, if I do upload some gameplays, you know, in the upcoming days or weeks with other, like, me playing on other maps, this happened, like, a long time ago. Like, I just, I just have them in the archive. But, like, Nuketown gameplays, these are, like, recent, you know, because that's all I've been playing is Nuketown 24-7. Nuketown 24-7, whether it be core or hardcore. You know, and it, again, it's just for the camel challenges because it's faster to complete. And honestly, it's going to sound funny, but I'm ranking up my weapons and trying to get this camel to, to use in Warzone. So if Black Ops Cold War didn't offer no integration or anything, I probably wouldn't even be playing it like that. Because the only reason I do play it is to rank up weapons to bring them into Warzone and use them in Warzone, if that makes sense. For example, the other day, I had a friend ask me, so what's your favorite gun in Black Ops Cold War? Or what's your go-to you know, gun? And I was really stuck on stupid for a minute. I was like, wait a minute. Like, bro, like, I literally don't have one. Because since I got the game, I'm just trying to grind the camos. And I am not, and I delete the classes right away, like, just to make, a, make some space or whatever it is. And I really don't have a, a best gun in this game. Like, I don't. This is the first Call of Duty where I'm like, bro, I really don't know what gun to use. Like, if I was, you know how in every COD, you know, you branch out to use weapons, but if you're getting your ass kicked by the other team, you're like, oh, I bet, try hard mode. And you go into that try hard class, you know, ACR in Modern Warfare 2, you know, you had the NV4 all the way up in Infinite Warfare, the Man of War in BO3, you know, etc., etc. You know, um, you know, you had that, that metal weapon that you would go to or for yourself to use it. But in this game, I'm like, honestly, I don't know. Like, when I really think about it, maybe, maybe the AK? You know, maybe? But for the most part, I don't. Because I just delete, I don't save classes. I just delete them and rank up, try to rank up the next weapon, you know, and move on. So, you know, so that's my, that's where I'm at with Black Ops Cold War. Like, I don't play the regular maps. Again, I just stick to Nuketown, and that's where it's at. Um, I know a lot of people make videos complaining about this game every day, but listen, man. We're going to buy Call of Duty whether we love it, hate it, tolerate it, whatever. We're going to buy it anyway. And to the day we don't buy it, I guess that's when a statement is said. You know, I can't come on every day and just bash Call of Duty, bash Black Ops Cold War, Wars. Like, I can't. Like, uh, you know, if it, uh, whatever makes me have fun in the game, I'm going to do it and play it and speak on that but as far as like bashing the game like yeah there's some issues no game is ever perfect no game will ever be perfect and if you think any card that you played in the past would is like would be different today like you're terribly mistaken because listen my favorite card is my, the mw2 you know and bo1 but i'm sure if those games were out today as i get freaking torched right here if those games were out today it you know it wouldn't play the same. There'll be some sort of like BS, you know, along with the skill-based matchmaking and all the other crap that's in Call of Duty today. So, you know, like those games wouldn't play the same. So, like, you know, like, I feel like COD it sells the most because it's popular. But at the end of the day, it's not a game that doesn't have. Uh, I don't want to say replay value, but I'm sure it dies off in a lot of people's eyes very quickly. You know, like people get fed up with it and they're bored of it. They're like, you know what? Screw this crap. I don't even care for it. And that's kind of how I feel with Black Ops Cold War. I'm like, it's, eh, it's whatever, man. Like, like I'll play it, but I'm not going to spend eight hours playing this shit in one day, you know, or six hours, you know, unless I'm desperate to do some crazy shit and, put, and, and do a stream for that long. But Black Ops Cold War is in trouble, I feel like, in the long run, just because of Activision's fault and the lack of content from Treyarch. You know, I never considered, well... PS3 Treyarch was cool. PS4 Treyarch and PS5 Treyarch are trash. That's just the way I look at it. Last gen consoles versus new gen consoles versus the last last gen consoles is like different studios made the games, bro. Like, and that's just where it's at. But yeah, man, this is I don't I don't was this a rant? 
this is like a mini rant. If at the end of the day, Cold War, again, it's it's all right. It's not terrible by any means. Like, I don't think it's trash, but it does have its moments, you know? Like, I feel like they added the FOV slider, and that was, I love that they added that, and I hope there's an update for Warzone that allows you to do the same. Look at this guy. Yo, the shotgun ranges in Hardcore are impeccable. So if you're going for shotgun challenges, go to Hardcore. You won't be disappointed. Especially with the shotgun village at that. You know, where you hold the, the, the your tactical and you run around a lot faster just shooting people. But yeah, guys, man. To make it savage I'm sorry I don't be uploading a lot of cold work, but at the end of the day, man, it's like, you get tired of it, honestly. You, you do get tired and, you know, like, I don't know what else to talk about when it comes to Cold War? You know, I'm not trying to bash the game like every video, like a lot of other people do. Like, I, that's nah, that's just not healthy for yourself. <laughs> but I will try to upload more Cold War and you know, try to figure something out. But for the most part, guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure to like, subscribe, and all that good. It's just definitely much appreciated. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.